Matt, what is your overriding emotion this afternoon? Well, pretty raw, let's be honest. Um, they've just said it feels like a morgue in terms of their presentation for the, the player of the season. It's, it's not a nice feeling. Um, we wanted to end on a high even if the results didn't go our way elsewhere um, and we wanted to get those three points unfortunately we weren't quite able to do that today and that's probably been a that game was probably a, a reflection of where we've been the last few months of this season played some really good football at times but got pinned back and pegged back by physicality and set pieces and and balls in our box which we couldn't quite deal with and then their goal goes in and you know then des not desperation but then we're chasing and chasing and chasing and ironically we still had enough chances or had a clear cut chance to win the game um, but that, even that wouldn't have been enough does it soften the blow a little that everyone above us did what they needed to? Um, no, no. It's, like I say, it's raw. It hurts. Um, just not quite enough, and not quite good enough in relation to today. And, and certainly from probably Christmas onwards, and played some fantastic football where we had the, the strongest squad at the first half of the season. And um, we couldn't quite reproduce that. And then the season stuck its toll, not only on the youngsters but on, on some of the more senior ones. And some players lost form at important times, um, but we were never quite deep enough in relation to that squad to make the changes we needed to. And, and, and replace certain personnel. Now, we could never quite get anyone out of the firing line for long enough just to refresh them and reset them. Um, but they'll have the opportunity to do that over the next couple of months. First half, it was a fairly good performance in the first half. And it was, let's talk, look, take away from the fact that, that was a superb goal, the move. Yeah, well, we, we've been working on where the space, we felt the space was this week. Um, and we created some really good opportunities. And I still like more penetration in, in those moments and some more bodies in the box, making sure they were on the end of it, even when it spilled off the keeper or a ball were bouncing around, we weren't quite there. And, and that's a reflection of where we were and, and their goals are exact, exact opposite in relation to pinning us back with, with pressure and physicality and then the ball just bounced to one of their players and he smashes it. And we, we need to score more goals like that, like, like, that, like that. We've scored so many goals this season where we've cut through teams and we've looked at fantastic flowing football, but we need to be better at the mess, at the chaos, um, at the disruption of League Two football and be more effective in certain moments. Obviously, I, I'm not sure what decisions you've already made, but were the players out there playing for their futures this afternoon? No, not this afternoon. No, is it that, that any decisions we make will be a reflection of this season, last season, and what they've done in relation to the football club? You know, there won't be big changes. Let, let's be honest, we can't afford to have big changes. We need to keep a certain nucleus of players moving forward. Um, but we've got a platform of, of youngsters who we're going to build a team around. Um, like I say, the likes of Josh Key, Archie Collins, Matt Jay, Alex Archie towards the ends have had really good season. Joe Randall, when he's been fit and available, um, so they, they've been excellent in relation to the contribution they've, they've given us. Um, and now we need to look to add some real quality on top of that. It's Easy said than done, and we know how difficult it is to attract players down to the, the southwest. But we're in a position from the sacrifices we made this season to do that. And I think we still do have a lot to be proud of this season, don't we? You mentioned that the emergence of the likes of Josh Key, of, of our Alex, that the yeah. players like. Yeah, well, look, I'll, I'll be honest in relation to the voting for the players, player of the season. Um, not only from the players but from the fans themselves and that's a reflection of who's had good seasons and who's probably struggled a little bit either struggled with form or struggled with consistency or struggled to, to find um, the, the, the ability to change the games at key moments and, and it's been our youngsters who finished top of the polls in relation to all that so that's a reflection on what the season's been but some of the senior ones need credit as well and um, they've just like I say we've all, we've all fallen short so we can't just say that young boys have had a good season and season ones haven't quite done it we've all fallen short and that's where we've been this season um, there'll be a time for reflection and some like I say individual meetings at the start of this week but we're already building towards next season I think one thing we've all been missing this season we can't show away from that is the fans but yeah. we know that we're heading towards a you know, packed out park next season and that will be an amazing moment yeah definitely and I hope they present MJ that award if he's still a, I hope they hope present it in front of people because that was pretty brutal to witness and not only just because we're, we're roaring we're all disappointed in terms of the way the game finished and our season has finished but MJ deserves that more than that supporters player this season and he, he receiving it in front of a half a dozen people it's, it's not the same and football's not been the same for, for a long period of time now um, we've got to make sure we've got a team that reflects what this, this city in this club are all about um, come well when the fans come back in and hopefully that's sooner rather than later what does the next week or next few weeks entail for you is it just having, having a break and then no, no, look, like I say weeks, works, work's already underway in relation to, to what we're trying to do next season um, individual meetings with the players start of the week and then it'll be with staff towards the end of the week the staff will need a reset as much as the players um, and the players who will, will be here next season will have a, a real clear understanding of what I expect from them uh, not only in the off season but when they come back and if they need to improve certain areas I've got to tell them if they want to get into our football team next season um, and, and that's, I'll do that in a nice way like, like, let's be honest we can't hammer players and say you're poor in certain areas of the game they've, they've just got to look to improve and develop and we'll give them the best chance we possibly will we always do that exit city um, and if they play next season, they've got to understand what it, what it takes.